Wow, whoa, this is different. <laughs> what is this? Is this the outside world? <sighs> this is crazy. What is it? It's been like two weeks since I've gone out of my apartment. It's a freaking New Year miracle up in here. What up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today we are hitting the road. We got some grocery shopping to do. We are pretty much out of stock with everything. So gotta get some grub up in this tub. And by tub, I mean my freaking gut. First and foremost, based on my sunglasses again. So there's that. Um, you know what I mean? Sometimes he just rocks it better than me. So it's okay. It's all good. I forgive you. Looking handsome as heck though. So Bay and I decided to be a little bit fancy today and we are going to Whole Foods. Oh my God. Let me be the first to say we do not always go to Whole Foods because um, I mean, do I need to say it? Like what the frig, it's so inexpensive. <laughs> so we kind of make it like a once a month thing at best kind of stock up on things we cannot get anywhere else and then everything else that we can get at a normal grocery store we'll just like hit that one up on the way back <laughs> wanted to take you guys along with us so we could share with you basically our staple foods and what we like to eat during the week so definitely be sure to hit that subscribe button if you're not already follow your girl on ig for all things fitness because together we got this so first you know what we gotta do we gotta hit something up. You ready, Bay? Oh, I've been ready, baby. Okay. Masks up. All right, we are good. Let's go. Holding bag? Three, three bags. Three bags. Okay, and almost three hundred dollars later. That's a hundred dollars a bag. I want to freaking kill myself. Bro, right? we didn't even get much. I'm disgusted with myself. Okay, so now that I had to smell my own coffee breath for a good how long were we in there? Forty minutes? Too long. Ugh. Definitely bought more than I anticipated. That always freaking happens, but it's okay. It'll last us the whole month. Just kidding. Probably a week. We're gonna have to take out a loan. We were doing fine up until we got to the cash register. Yeah, and then I started really burning up and sweating. Like I had to get out of the store, but it was because I saw the freaking total and I almost collapsed. <laughs> almost broke out into a cold sweat. <laughs> Oops. All right, we are back, you guys. If I couldn't stop eating, like I'm starving right now. There's nothing I hate more than going grocery shopping, but like the whole time you just want to eat all the food. So I kind of dove in along the way. So if things look weird, it's a block of cheese, for example, you get why, right? <laughs> what? Right, guys, here we go. Let's get into this freaking Whole Foods haul, baby. The main reason I love Whole Foods is that I can find healthier alternatives of things, kind of help fit my lifestyle a little better, you know, trying to keep it clean, lean, like a machine. But I normally get like things like produce, fresh produce, like tomatoes, cucumbers, my turkey meat, my oat milk. Basic things like grand necessities will be at my standard grocery store, so I'm not paying freaking top dollar, thank you very much. But um, Whole Foods has its time and place, okay? Where I like to get a lot of stuff that I can't get anywhere else. Or else my food, my diet, my life would be extremely boring with what I can only get at a local grocery store. So here we go. <laughs> okay, so already dove into this. Back to nature plant-based snacks. Your girl's not vegan, but it feels right. 
This one is their multi-grain flax. It's a flatbread. I plan to do some dipping and diving with these babies, yeah. And by dipping and diving, I mean into this amazing freaking cream cheese that I came across. Now, normally I don't buy cream cheese, but this one had lower sodium. This is from Melanie's Medleys. It's a cream cheese spread with honey, fig, and pistachio in it. And we also got triple onion. We also got garden vegetable and pumpkin pie. <laughs> Trying to spice up our life a little bit. Mm -hmm. Every time we go to Whole Foods, we have to stock up on these Vietnamese brown rice spring roll wraps. Holy frig, are these good. We wrap our turkey meat in it and make little spring rolls. All you do is dip it in water and wrap your shiz up and bake it. It's so freaking easy, brown rice. I can't get this nowhere else. So guys, lately, Bay and I have been kind of having pizza as our cheat meal, but our local pizzeria is not that good. Like, it actually hurts my stomach, and I don't know why, but it's just, it's nasty, and it's giving me a food aversion, actually. I'm getting sick of pizza, and I don't want that to happen. So we are gonna try to make our own healthy pizza. We like to just buy healthy dough. This is a multi-grain pizza dough. We plan to keep this frozen and just grab as we need. So we stocked up on a few of these. We also got fresh mozzarella balls. Okay, I could eat this whole thing right now. I love cheese and we haven't bought it in a while because our grocery store doesn't have many options, but Whole Foods does. So we plan to put chunks of this on our pizza. Yes, nice fresh mozzarella. So uh, a big thing with Whole Foods that I like to buy is shrimp. In a perfect world, I would buy fresh seafood every time. Number one, who's got that kind of bank account? Number two, um, I like having frozen stuff on hand, okay? Because if I don't want it one day, the next day I might, or later that evening. I'm not making multiple trips in one day, absolutely not. So uh, the Whole Foods, Brand 365, their wild caught white gulf shrimp is our favorite. It doesn't get weird when you cook it, like that sticky plastic that ha- Ugh, no. Doesn't have crazy preservatives in it, and most importantly for us is there's like virtually no sodium in it because they jack up your shrimp with sodium, these stores, and I can't be bloating, dude. Come on, man, I don't wanna be bloated. So we stocked up on quite a few bags of these shrimps. I love them and I swear by them. We also did the same with their Atlantic salmon filet. So we do try to keep it like high protein diet up in here. We wanna keep those gains, baby. Be lean, trying to get lean for summer. So uh, their seafood, their frozen seafood is just perfection for us. We need it in our life. And for Bay, keyword Bay, uh, his yellowfin tuna steaks. I don't know what it is, but I don't actually like tuna unless it's from a can and like mixed with a ton of mayo. All right guys, so for when we crave ramen noodles, cause if you do not crave ramen noodles, you're just a freaking liar at this point. What we like to buy that I can't seem to find anywhere else is the millet and brown rice ramen from Lotus Foods, that's the brand. It's only made out of organic brown rice and organic millet flour. There's no other ingredients in it at all. So you boil these babies up and it's the same texture, same everything as ramen noodles. These are unflavored, so we add in curry powder and it tastes just like ramen noodles. Best part is there's no sodium in it, none. All right guys, so we went a little ham on cheese, but the reason being is um, they got no sodium in it. This is no sodium Swiss cheese. That is what's up, dude. I almost ate the whole block before. Um, we got quite a few of these. I just wanna like pop them on a cracker, maybe a little cream cheese, something like that, just kind of hold me over during the day. I think I ate more than a serving size before, but it was because I'm starving. So the thing I love about Whole Foods is they have the best selection of sauces, international sauces, so you can literally have a different flavor every single day of the week and it is clean eats, baby. This is how we literally spice up our boring AF chicken, turkey, things like that. We have to go with flavorful, delicious, clean sauces or else I probably wouldn't eat clean. Primal Kitchen, we are obsessed with this mayo. 
Not only is it very, very clean, low sodium, but it is vegan. Again, okay, super, super clean. And they taste phenomenal. They taste like the best clean mayo I've ever tasted. I've tried quite a bunch. They all make me gag. Primal Kitchen is where it's at. So we have a lot of flavors, but this one, rosemary garlic, I haven't found anywhere else. So I've been craving jam. I don't know what it is. I've just been craving like peanut butter and jelly, like I'm four years old. But a lot of the jellies have extra added sugar. They're not like real fruit. It's getting a little nasty and shysty. So I found this really good, by, by the way, strawberry is my favorite out of all the jams. So I got fruit spread 100% from fruit from St. Dalfour. So the only thing in it is just fruit and fruit juice from the freaking fruit. So uh, yeah, that's all you need because I'm sorry. Anybody who adds sugar into fruit jams, what's wrong with you? So Bay really loves Haven's Kitchens, these like little baby packets of sauce. And he likes to mix it in with our healthy pastas just to flavor them up because the healthy pastas by themselves are pretty nasty. So again, with the healthy sauces, you can't go wrong with that. This is the healthy sauces is what we buy the most at Whole Foods. We go specifically for that. So we got Herbie Chimichurri and we got red pepper Romesco. I prefer the red pepper. I've had both of these before. Red pepper is a little more of that creaminess that I like, if you will. <laughs> so we got a spicy Indian sauce, roasted garlic achar. Indian garlic chili sauce. So this is from the brand Brooklyn Deli and it's got a spicy, savory, lemon, sweet flavor. Mm -mm -mm. So we got the same exact thing, but an Indian tomato chili sauce, okay? If you're in the mood for more of just a tomato base, this one is a go. And the best part is, again, guys, very, very low sodium. So as you can see, there's a trend. We try to aim for virtually no sodium at all. We are not about adding on that extra water weight when we're trying to like work out every day and feel fit AF. You know, we just want to kind of like feel a little bit shredded up in here. I'm not gonna lie, okay? Can't do that with high sodium foods. Forget about it. We got tzatziki sauce. <laughs> So when I'm in the mood for like a little bit of that Greek action, perhaps I wanna make myself a gyro, a gyro, a gyro, a gyro, whatever you may want to pronounce it, however you wanna pronounce it. I still don't know how to pronounce it, but nevertheless, tzatziki, we put it on absolutely every single thing. It's a yogurt-based kind of dip, in case you don't know, so you're getting a little bit of the probiotics. It's freaking delicious and it has dill in it, which I think that's the big reason why I like it because I love dill. Okay, so we came across these new sauces that we've never tried, so I don't know, can't give my opinion yet, but it's from the brand Saucy Lips. And uh, they're handcrafted gourmet sauces. There's jalapeno green apple, hello, and zesty cilantro. I'm gonna like the zesty cilantro, I can already tell. Definitely follow your girl on IG because I like to taste test new things and I'll share it in Instagram stories just to give you guys an idea, whether it's a hit or a frickin' miss. Last but not least, organic maple syrup. 365 is that generic Whole Foods brand that's still dumb expensive, but whatever. I need maple syrup for my oatmeal pancakes every morning. Like, without it, just no. I need my freaking syrup. Again, Bay and I, really, we really don't eat sugars a lot, especially refined sugars. We stay away from candies and sodas and things like that. We do not eat like the processed fake type of sugars, the white sugars, the refined sugars. They're not our friends, so this is what we stick with, baby. Mm. A little dab of doo. Do me right. All right, guys, so that is it. That is our entire Whole Foods haul. And pretty much, in a nutshell, what we get every single time we go there. Again, this is a once a month haul because your girl, she just can't keep up with it. But nevertheless, it's super important to kind of diversify the diet and add in things to kind of help us along in, in our lifestyle. So yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you guys have any questions or you wanna know details about anything that I share with you, definitely hit me up. Comment down below, girl. Come on now, let's do it. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll catch you in my next video.